It's June 24th, so here's a quick overview of my garden. It rained, the most beautiful rain yesterday for gardens. Um, so today with the heat, my garden is popping, but the weeds are also popping. So we're gonna try and take care of some of that today. I'm not gonna be able to do this whole thing, but I'm gonna try and get the rotor tiller started, just my small one that goes in between the roads, rows. And so I'll pass that for sure everywhere today. And then we're gonna see how far we get with the weeds. Um, Cause I obviously can't get too close to the plants with the rotor tiller. So there's still some amount of weeds I need to pick by hand, but anyways, we'll see what we can get done. So here's the garden after the rotor tiller. Um, I didn't do right here because I have carrots and carrots are so small in the beginning. I don't exactly know where my rows are right now. So I didn't do there. I'll just do that section by hand. Um, Cause I can see the carrots when I go close. It's just with the rotor, rotor tiller, it's too hard. And then all well, the rest has been tilled too in between the rows. So just doing that helps tremendously. Um, here it looks very barren. It's because I have my cucumber plants there and a watermelon. My watermelon starter from the nursery actually died, so I went and planted seeds here. Um, but they haven't come out yet. So anyways, this is looking barren, but once the vines really start, you know, running, it'll fill up this whole space. So for now, that's like that. My cabbage is doing really good. And of course my garlic, my onions. So. Now we're going to start going in between the rows and just pulling the weeds against the plants. I'm in my garlic. We're starting here with the weeds. Um, has anyone watched the grounding movie on, it's on Amazon Prime for us in Canada, but I saw a preview for it last night and I think I'm going to try and watch it tonight. Um, but I tend to always work barefooted <laughs> in the garden. So I'm getting a good grounding session, connecting myself to the earth. Once you pass the rotor tiller, things go pretty quickly because you're not having to do in between the rows, just around the plants. So I'm thankful for that. The first couple of years I didn't have my small rotor tiller for in between the rows and oh my gosh, I felt like my garden was always full of weeds, which is fine, stuff still grows, but I did find that it does stunt some of the things in your garden, especially um, onions and garlic um, because it grows, you know, in the ground and it, the weeds kind of steal all the nutrients. I'm gonna keep going and I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, so there we go. A full two rows done. Garlic and uh, these here are leeks at the end are done. That's it for today. I'm tired, I'm dirty. Um, tomorrow I'll try to do the onions and maybe these are also onions and the cabbage. If I could do those three rows tomorrow, that would be great.